All right, here we are. I'm down here in the basement. Uh, the other day, wired up my breaker box, ran some fuses and some other stuff, and uh, have it all set up to run off from our power inverter here. Our inverter comes into this 30 amp breaker right here because we're only got about 30 amps of output right there, so we don't need more than that. Um, I have the breaker bridged in case we uh, so we can feed both rails. I have the mains shut off. I have a shut off lockout for this for when I put the panel cover back on so you can't turn the mains on and this. But currently, everything that's hooked up, which we only have a few things hooked up, um, but that's pretty much powering the most of the house. Um, can't really see it down here too much, but our battery bank is a 24 volt battery bank. Yeah, let's see if I can get a better angle on that. Maybe it'll read it. There we are. Here we are, 24.4 volts currently. We're pulling we're pulling over 200 amps out of our battery and we're only pulling down about 40 amps on our solar right now. So we're obviously drawing down more power than what we, drawing out more than we have. But um, obviously this light here, the other lights down here in the basement are all running off from this setup. And we have uh, upstairs, I got two windowed air conditioners. Here we go, it's cycling for the, it doesn't cycle very much. I'm actually really, really impressed with this power inverter so far. Granted, it's only day one, but it's been working really good so far. Um, doesn't heat up anywhere near as much as I thought it would. On the inside, there's two big aluminum coils that run right here. Uh, one on the in stage, one on the output stage. Um, and there's MOSFETs all the way along both sides with some really big capacitors and uh, coils down the center for the step-up voltage. So this is a 24 volt inverter and it steps up to 110 volt AC. Um, I figured that would be big enough for what we needed. Although they make these all the way up to 110 volt and you can actually go 110 volt to 110 AC or 110 to DC to 100 or 220 AC, which would be awesome for future setups. But those are much, much more expensive. This one was only a couple hundred bucks. Um, but anyway, um, believe it or not, this thing right now even though we're pulling significantly more power, it's barely even heating up. We have, we're pulling almost 3,000 watts total power right now. I don't have a plug-in hooked up to this at the immediate moment, but that's what we're at, is right around 3,000 watts total power. I'm not sure if I can figure a good way to hook up a gauge to test that, but um, we have two 1,500 watt air conditioners going upstairs, the lights, fans, wiring, uh god what else is upstairs tvs on computers on you know a bunch of other stuff i mean we're slowly dropping on voltage i only have about uh uh i have six car batteries upstairs so i don't even have adequate power and they're mixed match batteries and they're old so we're only really looking at about 400 amps of storage um Probably even less than that, to be honest, as far as amp hours are concerned. But like I said, we're pulling down a little over 40 amps at 70 volts on our solar. And that's being stepped down from our charge controller to 24 volts for this. And uh, I mean, we're slowly losing power, but considering we're drawing close to 300 amps, we're not really doing all that bad. I'm going to cut some of the usage upstairs, obviously, because I want to charge the batteries back up. But... Pretty impressed so far. This thing has done a uh, an absolutely fantastic job. So hopefully, once we're all said and done, be able to wire everything up um, and have a nice long term setup. When I get some more batteries and a few more solar panels, we can run a little bit more stuff off from this. But for now, this is where we're at. And like I said, I've got one of the generator cutoff brackets that's going to go on the panel. I have to put it on yet. So I have a breaker here that shuts off, which cuts the inverter. This is the mains, which goes to the other box. And then on this box, I also have a switch on this box, which will keep power out of that panel. So in order to turn power on, I'll have a cutoff, a lockout breaker over here, and a separate breaker over here. So it'll be very unlikely... I mean, I would literally have to do it intentionally to accidentally flip on power to, from the house and fry my inverter or vice versa, feed power out to the line and hurt alignment. But right now, everything's separated. Um, we're actually running our fridge. This one's going to the back side of our basement, the front side of our basement, to our living room, which is feeding 
um, our air conditioner is upstairs. So um, everything's working good so far. We're, like I said, we're pulling down about 30 amps AC. Um, roughly, I don't have a clamp meter, um, but we should be somewhere right around 200 amps, 300 amps DC that we're pulling down. And it's not even heating up. It's running fantastic. Anyway, so far so good. Day one of the you know, reliable brand uh, inverters working pretty good.